in the current scenario of high inflation rate if you are looking for an investment strategy into equity and debt asset class as a mutual fund distributor then this video is going to work for you in this video i am going to tell you what kind of performance you can expect from equity and debt asset class in a higher inflation rate scenario and i'm also going to give you a strategy as how you need to navigate and plan the investment journey of your client in this high inflationary scenario hello everyone i'm shobhit i'm a finbiz growth expert and founder of finbiz growth club we are an aspiring community of new age mutual fund distributors who are determined to change how india invest so first let's talk about the darling of all of us which is equity as an asset class how equity as an asset class is has performed in the past in an high inflationary scenario and what should be the likely strategy which you need to devise for your clients so if you look at the past performance of equity as an asset class in a high inflationary scenario then you are going to find a certain pattern and let me share some numbers with you so if you look at these numbers if you look at every financial year before the liberalization in indian economy you are going to find that in a high inflationary scenario or high inflation rate equities were performing well but after 93 94 when the liberalization started to happening the uh, high inflation rate is inversely related to the equity performance same chart if you see from the mint with, with the data which they have published you are going to find whenever the inflation rates are going to be higher the performance of equity as an asset class is going to be lower so one thing is very very clear that whenever inflation is going to be higher the performance of equity as an asset class is going to be lower and why it is this let's understand that so if you are going to be looking at what drives the performance of equity as an asset class then you are going to find that the performance of the stock market is directly correlated with the profit which the companies listed on the stock market are going to deliver and whenever there is a high inflationary environment the central governments are going to increase the interest rate and if the central governments are going to increase the interest rate then what is going to happen it is directly going to eat away the profits of the companies because most of the corporates have borrowings and the interest outgo of these companies are going to increase and if the interest rate interest outgo is going to increase then their profits are also going to be lowering down other way to look into it is whenever there is a higher inflation uh, inflation in the market interest rate goes up the borrowing cost of for the companies goes up it may reduce their profit or it may reduce their future expansion plan which is also going to impact their profitability so whenever there is a high inflation rate it is going to reduce the profit and if the profits are going to be reduced then the performance of the stock markets are not going to do well because this all market or all the stock buying are going to happen depending depending upon the future profitability of this company so if the profits are going to reduce the pe expansions are going to happen and once the pe expansion goes beyond the comfort level of investors then investors are going to sigh away from the market so once you are clear that in a higher inflationary environment the equity as an asset class are not going to perform that well because of the low the amount of the profit and expansion of their p ratios that what should be the strategy which you need to follow as a mutual fund distributor in case you want some allocation of your client into equities so first thing which we need to be clear that we should not avoid equity as an asset class because any and every time any asset class cannot be totally abandoned so you need to have exposure in equity class depending upon the asset allocation which you are going to be providing to your client and whatever asset allocation you have done whatever allocation you have given to equities 
all those allocations has to be spread over a period of time or the investment should be done in an staggered manner. Now let me simplify these jargons for you. As a mutual fund distributor, whenever you are looking to allocate some money to equity as an asset class through mutual fund scheme, I would highly advise you to follow a STP uh, that is systematic transfer plan route to allocate into equities or through SIP route. So in that case, what is going to happen? You are going to give a better average cost for your client because you are staggering their equity allocation over a longer period of time. And if that is the case, it is going to be helping your client in reducing the risk, reducing the volatility, and definitely it is going to play well in the future. So this kind of strategy you need to be following up when you are allocating to the equity uh, as an asset class. Now, which kind of uh, schemes you should be looking at whenever you are doing your equity allocation. For that, my advice to you would be look for a lesser risky or less volatile uh, schemes in terms of those schemes which have higher allocation to large cap uh, oriented stocks because there the downside would be much lesser and you will have a much more probability that those companies are going to withstand the challenges with this high inflationary environment is going to throw up to them. Those companies which are not highly leveraged, which most of the large cap companies are, that is going to be a good strategy. So whenever you are planning allocation to equities in this high inflationary environment, stick to large cap or a multi cap fund where the fund manager will be able to take much more informed call and will be helping your client in getting the desired result from equity investments. So this is all about equity, how you need to be looking at. Now let's talk about debt investments. If you are going to be allocating to debt uh, for your client's uh, portfolio, what should be the mutual fund route strategy which you need to follow? So once you are clear that in a high inflationary environment, the interest rate are going to be keep on rising with time. And if you want to get benefited from this kind of scenario in a debt investment strategy, my advice would be you should be looking at those schemes where the coupon rates are directly related to the movement of interest rate in the market. So what is the coupon rate? It is the interest which the company is going to pay when anyone is going to be investing in those companies debt security. So if you are looking to go through a mutual fund route and you want to be get benefited as the interest rate in the market keeps on moving up, then floating rate fund would be a good strategy where as the name suggests the coupon which the company is going to pay will depend upon the movement of interest rate in the market. So that should be a good strategy we should be looking at where you are going to be offering a floating rate fund to your client. What should be a no-no for you whenever you are advising your client? Don't look for those schemes which has a higher maturity uh, or higher average maturity duration because the higher the maturity duration, the more volatile it will be uh, depending upon the movement of interest rate in the market. Also, we should be avoiding those companies whose fundamentals are not good or the ratings of those companies are of lower grade. Why? Because as the interest rate will rise, their interest outgo will rise and if they are not able to go through that phase, most companies, those who are not fundamentally strong, they are going to go bust. So I, we don't want some companies to default in any mutual fund investment which is going to eat away the capital of your clients. In that case, my advice to you would be stick to those portfolios, those mutual fund schemes which are having a higher uh, rating of the papers where they are investing in, which has a lower average maturity of the portfolio, which is going to reduce the uh, which is going to reduce the volatility or risk in the fund, and you will ni neither have a credit risk event or you will not have a higher interest risk event in those portfolios. So that should be your best strategy. The simplest way is stick to the liquid fund category or those funds which has a less than 90 days maturity value because there you are not going to find much risk and you will be able to get a better 
interest rate realization as the coupon of various companies across the time period is going to be increasing. So this kind of debt strategy you should be keeping in mind whenever you are advising your client in this high inflationary scenario. So I hope I have given you some dimensions as in this a time when we all are struggling to give a positive uh, return to our client's portfolio. What should be our strategy whenever you are giving an equity allocation to your client? Or what should be your strategy when you are going to be going for that investment to your client? The idea in any environment, my dear friends, is to have a proper asset allocation depending upon the risk appetite of your client, depending upon the time duration for which they want to invest, more importantly, depending upon the financial literacy which your client is carrying. You need to be aware of the various nuances of your client's experience as well as your own research so that you can handhold and guide your client in these volatile times. So I hope I have given you some food of thought and dimensions to look into your investment advisory service which can help your client in getting better uh, financial outcome from their investment journey. In case you love the content, I would love you guys to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel so, when, so that whenever you have, we have something new to offer, you guys will be first one to know. Thank you for watching. I'm going to see you next time.